Last night's series, maybe the smile on your face faded when you felt you got smacked in the mouth. I think we all felt like we got punched in the face there. We took an unnecessary shot from the TBS cable television network, which carried the game. TBS, Bad Mouth Cleveland, and showed a river on fire, saying it was us here in Cleveland. Now, that got Leon Bibb angry. The photograph was just uncalled for. And you know what? It wasn't even our city in the picture. It wasn't even our city. Friends, let me tell you this. I don't like to get into fist fights, but sometimes you have no way out. You and I and all of Northeast Ohio got hit last night by a cable television network which depicted us in an untrue and unethical way. It was as if we had walked into a room and somebody threw a punch. So I'm taking my coat off and rolling up my sleeves because sometimes you got to be true to your own and true to your own town. This is one of those times. Why TBS Cable Television, after the Indians beat the Red Sox in the ALDS, put up a phonied up picture labeled, Welcome to Cleveland with a Burning River, I will never know. I'm showing this picture because you ought to be just as puzzled and angry as I am. This is not Cleveland. This is a picture of a pipeline inferno in Russia, with the TBS sports analyst photoshopped in front. Yeah, the Cuyahoga River did catch fire in 1969, and we have fought like crazy to clean up the pollution. For decades, the Cuyahoga has been very clean. I've done stories on it, talking with experts who know. And how you can take something that was potentially viewed as, as really bad back then, but now uh, this river is really viewed as a success story. To us, our canary in the coal mine is fish, numbers, and health. So the water is clean enough for them to, to live. Both recreation and industry is sharing that river to the benefit of both. Cleveland is built on a river which runs clean and handles the strong work. It also runs deep, just like our commitment to Cleveland and this region. That burning river story is 47 years old. We clean the river so well, other cities have asked how we did it as they follow the wake we leave in the water. So TBS, take down that picture and we will take your apology because this is the true picture of Cleveland right here and the river which runs through it. I want you to know that that phonied up picture really rankles my nerves. We greater Clevelanders live on two great bodies of water, the Cuyahoga and Lake Erie. You know, we are a sports-oriented town, a championship town. We're a nationally known town. We draw big-time conventions. You remember the RNC. We help build this nation, and we still do help build this nation over the years. We don't like somebody picking a fight with us, especially using phonied up pictures of problems elsewhere. In baseball terms, TBS tossed a brushback beanball at our heads, so we are calling TBS out for that. One more thing, TBS, my name is Leon Bibb, and if you want to take issue with me about Cleveland or our river, meet me at the Clean Cuyahoga, where it meets the broad-chested Lake Erie. We can have a face-to-face -face talk on the riverbank one night. If you catch my drift. Yeah. We got Mr. Bib angry. Drop you need to drop the, the mic. Pen. Don't badmouth my town. That's what I'm talking that about. Great. Okay. Great story, our man. town. Our town. Our town. All of ours. Right. Okay. Leon, thank you. Oh, glad to do it.